Hello everyone, Raphael Lewis here. On behalf of the National Coalition Party of Canada, our political action committee. My fellow Canadians, let that be a lesson to all of us. So we never thought we would be in this economic situation, right? Well, indeed we are. Throughout the years, we knew what Russia was about. And let this war be a lesson to all of us. We knew what uh, Vladimir Putin was about. And some of the uh, politicians, they help him be what, do what he is doing today. They help them. First and foremost, look, climate change came about. They're asking the West to shut down our industries because of carbon emission, footprint, yada, yada, yada. The same time, they doubled their productions. The most polluted nations asking us through climate change to shut down our industries at the same time as they were doubling their production, their manufacturing, so on and so forth. They took control through those free trade agreement and killed our local industries. And now this pandemic killed all the small and medium-sized businesses who were creating jobs because small and medium-sized businesses are the most job creation entities we can ever have. This pandemic killed those small and medium-sized businesses. Now we have inflation caused by those bad policies. No more jobs, lots of jobs, and people depending more on government handout. As a result, government has to boost benefits, spending. That's what created inflation. It was planned. This is a plan inflation. And throughout the years, we gave Russia access to uranium. We gave them uranium and we give people trade they took our uranium, we know what uranium, what they do with uranium is to build nuclear weapon or build nuclear power, point, power plant. But in this case, Russia was building their nuclear weapon. We gave them uranium. We killed all of our industries. And the irony is, what is most ironic is that those politicians who put us in this situation, they destroyed our local industries. We import wheat, we importing everything that we can produce at home. We stop, we kill the industries. We stop the industries from producing. We have coercive policy to destroy our industries and we start importing them. In the meantime, creating job loss, massive job loss, more government spending, boosting inflation, and at the same time, increasing our trade deficit. So tell me now, those politicians who work hard to put us, to put our country in this situation, are the same politicians that are going to promise to save us from the bad guy. Give me a break. <laughs> Anyhow, we, I'm happy to see how this unfolds and the lesson we learn from that, from Canada to any other nation around the world, it's time that you start being sustainable. Canada is a sustainable country where we had those bad corrupt politician, sellout politician who destroyed our economy, destroyed our industry, killed thousands or millions of jobs, 
boosting government spending, creating inflation. Now it's time that we bring back politicians who is going to revive our nation. We're self-sustainable. We don't need to import that much. So we need to bring those back. And for any other nation who are listening to this today, it's time that nations start becoming self-sustainable. And one of the things that Putin is using, nuclear threat against the rest of the world, is because now we control the oil, it distributes oil to lots of nations, wheat to lots of nations, which countries can produce their own. Now, why are you giving monopoly to another nation? So let that be a lesson. Be self-sustainable. Have your agricultural program. Invest in them so that next time around, it won't affect us that much and people with those intention to take over the world won't have this opportunity again. Thank you very much. My name is Raphael Lewis from the NCPC Political Action Committee. Thank you.